Hey, it's Kelly Carvin. I'm live in Brooklyn, New York today in Williamsburg. Um, I'm making a video series on all of the songs on the album, just giving a little background on my songwriting, about what the song's about, what kind of emotions and inspiration went into invoking each song. And we are actually filming a music video for Pain in the Trenton area. Um, and it's almost done. We have one more scene to go. So I wanted to kind of talk about Pain, the song, and then a little bit about the video today. You know, it's about me battling myself. I, I always told myself that I would never be negative or down in the dumps for too long. I understand people feel that emotion, and I am human, so I do feel that emotion. And I always told myself I'd be positive and upbeat, and it's kind of like that moment where you realize you're doing something wrong, and you have that chance to look at yourself and be like, am I going to continue, or am I going to let it go, or am I going to give into it, or am I going to just dab with it one more time, whether it be a relationship, an addiction, or anything. I mean, anybody could use it however. To me, I guess it was just an overall emotion and just that feeling of pain. The video kind of captures the whole feeling of pain. I have three different stories going on with three different people that have three different addictions. And I did that because I want people to maybe see themselves in the characters versus just having me sing it. So there are scenes of me singing the song and there is one special guest in the video which I'm not gonna tell anybody about yet, but that thing um, <laughs> represents addiction, evil, like bad, negative, that we sometimes end up going back to for some reason. And I just want people to relate to it. I want people to see themselves in the character, see themselves in the in the design. It's gonna be in all black and white. I think that the black and white will kind of symbolize the lack of detail that maybe you don't need. If you're falling in love with pain, it's an addiction. So to me, it symbolizes addiction and things that we shouldn't be falling in love with. But you kind of need to, you learn that that's not real love by falling in love with something that doesn't give love back. There is a little sexy side in the video, I guess. Temptation is sexy, it looks good. I, I wouldn't say that I'm trying to portray a sex uh, object of myself. I would think of it as more sensual and, you know, sexy, but not a sex object or anything like that. I wouldn't want anybody to look at me like that at all. But yeah, I mean, I, I think that anything that's addictive has this sexiness to it, and it's almost like lust, you know? It's not really love, it's not real. Um, so that's why I wanted to have a little bit of a sexy twist to the video. On top of the fact that I lost like 40 pounds and I feel great. I have dabbled in the pain. I have fell in love with pain before. It, this isn't what the song was about, but I was in an abusive relationship for a year. You're, 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 you're facing the devil, if you want to say, and that's how you learn what it is and you learn what not to do. And I, you know, I learned that at, a, at an early age. Um, but I know that there's tons of millions and billions of people out there that think just because they hit one hard rock road that they can't get up and walk down a different road. So like I fell in love with pain and I still do sometimes and you have to just catch yourself. You have to catch yourself and say, I, I'm going to think differently today. I'm going to think positive. I'm going to change the way I'm thinking. And that's really what it is. It's like almost falling in love with the, your thought. The characters in the in the video represent just basic people, people having a good time and you don't see the background of everybody's life all the time when you're at a party hanging out. Uh, everybody's having a good time, but you know, behind closed doors some people really have problems, like serious, serious problems. And this kind of shows how 
there is an underlying gray area that you don't see in color at a party. So they represent just average people, anybody. It could be me, it could be you, it could be you, it could be anybody. You know, you never know what somebody's darker side is. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel for anything in life, especially songs I write. Um, I would hope that anybody that listens to it isn't condemned in any way, thinking that they're never gonna get away from it, because um, you can, and I would hope that people would see the inspiring side of it, you know, realizing that you're in pain and wanting to change, and that's what the song's about. But at the same time, some people don't change. Like if you have a friend that won't change and you listen to the song, and maybe it'll help you kind of understand that person that just doesn't change. I mean, it's just, I don't know. It's like, it's just frustrating. It's a frustrating thing for people to fall in love and be in this, in a, a state of negative, you know? But it's, it is what it is. You just gotta find your own light and your own, your own path and be happy. But there's always, for me, there's always light at the end of the tunnel and I write um, with that purpose. How do you fall out of love with pain? Think positive. Stop dwindling in the past. It's painful. <laughs> what does Bane mean? You'd have to ask Mario, my guitar player. Um, I don't know if he made that word up. He swears it's in the dictionary. <laughs> But uh, I don't think it is. Anyway. Uh, Bane is in the dictionary. Bane is in the dictionary? Either way. No, no, no. So what does Bane mean? Actually, it's funny because when I recorded Pain, like, and P's and B's have a similar, like, sound. So, and I actually re-recorded it because I felt like I was saying, I'll never fall in love with Bane. And I was like, oh my god, I need to re-record that because Mario will have a field day. But it basically means just like a really shitty situation, I guess. Like, like that's painful. Like, <laughs> it's pain. Like, you could replace it with anything you'd say pain. Oh yeah, if everybody starts saying pain, um, you know where it originated in Trenton, New Jersey. Oh, pain. Oh, no. <laughs> Once you say it, though, you want to keep saying it for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed this sit down with me, Kelly Carvin. I hope that explains a little bit about the background of the video and the song. I will be posting more videos about all the songs on the album. And with your help, we can spread the music around. Once the video comes out, it's coming out October 10th, three weeks before Halloween, conveniently. And once it comes out, I need your help to spread the word, give it to your friends, show your mom, your grandma, your friends, all that. Um, you can share this with them too, maybe get them a little hyped up, all that jazz. So, thank you very much for sticking around. Peace, don't be painful or baneful. Is that good?